Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. What's up? What's up? Welcome to the stream or this video about making Songbringer. Today I'm working on the, the new boss and I will be for the next few videos probably. Um, but, uh, so yesterday, I, the last video, I was working on um, uh, some of the miscellaneous parts of this boss fight, like the ground being a bit less busy with me, um, and uh, some of the boss's actions. So now I'm going to start working on uh, more of the boss's AI to get him to have a feeling of uniqueness and um, and get some of his some different attacks in there and get this boss fight starting to feel really good. That's the first goal, is get this whole boss fight feeling really, really awesome, really unique. It really does not matter at all what things look like. Um, artwork is kind of secondary at this point. The first and most important thing is that this feels amazing and fun to play. So, thing I wanted to do is to warp around the screen a little bit less and then I'll dial in this, um, this super duper attack and then start working on some of his other attacks. So first thing, he teleports like way too much. Just go ahead and get rid of some of this old AI that was um, copied from the other boss, Keel. Okay, so here's the logic for when he decides to warp. If mode zero, so it's a it's, this is a uh, a selection, so it can do any one of these sequences that will trigger the warp. Um, if mode zero if target is far away, and if a certain random. Okay, so all of these are have a certain random element here, and these can all just be increased. Okay, so let's get, um, that's, that's a little bit of helpful there having more bless. Um, his charge up needs to take longer. Take a lot longer. Maybe it takes between two and three seconds before he releases the charge. Okay, I'm going to start downloading the hitbox now for the attack.
screen shake when the charge attack gets released, no matter if it hits anything or not. This is the duration, then the strength. It might actually work right there. Okay, he needs to go, the charge doubles need to be a little less, here, a little more here. <coughs> Whoa. Excuse me. I'm already noticing about that that will really help this attack is a good sound effect. It's a good. It's definitely more. Um, the charge doubles are looking like a lot better, and they're really starting to indicate how big the attack is. Duration just be a little slower. The next thing I want him to do is to um, teleport away as soon as you get near. So where is modes again? So mode 10, which is where he unsheaths. Um, what's mode 2? Mode 1 is after he's melee. Oh, mode 2 is when he's charged. Mode 3 is when he was releasing his charge. It's mode 19. Nineteen. Oh, 19 is to forcibly warp. Yeah, mode 
Depends on sheep. Okay. So that needs to be, yeah, if mode zero, you can only warp away using mode zero. Like if he's in warp mode one or two or three or whatever, he's in some kind of special thing. So this needs to be if mode zero and if target near. Not sure. Let's try 80 at first. And then maybe even just turning off all of his other warps. Except for that 19 forcible warp. Maybe you should have one random warp actually. That's cool. Turn, get rid of these warps. Maybe turn, I'm gonna turn that one off just to see what it feels like. So he's only gonna warp if you get near him. Or he force, what is, how does he forcibly warp again? Hold on, that should be, what is mode nine? Oh. Mode 19, um, Oh yeah, yeah, it goes into it. Oh, as soon as he releases his charge, he forcibly goes into warping. That makes sense. Okay, so that actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, um, or it makes, seems like a good move. Whoops. What happened then? Seems like a good move to Disable this warp because he's got that warp after he does his charge. smoke when he warps. Smokes too soon. And the duration of the smoke is a little too much. Special smoke, I'm looking for the duration parameter. There it is. Duration is the second value. Okay, so count and then duration. Count 16, duration, all right, all right. It's just a pretty quick smoke. 
This is white. Let's do like a this same red color. This is uh, charged attack. Oh, it's doing the jump. He's got to do leave his smoke. Okay. Um, needs to jump after the smoke. And it, that red is maybe a little too much. So scale, opacity, color. Duration, scale, opacity. Okay. So we'll do the D like, I think this should be bigger. And less red. Actually more smoky. The scale being that big is just too much. Same thing with these durations, it needs to be a little more. I think maybe there's too many smoke particles. Okay, now the scale is too small again. Blink animation, I want it to be a little faster. Let's try twice as fast. Messing up somehow. Oh, 
Okay, let's do, let's check in so far. This, um, feels like a good point. Kind of like just get this synced up. What's next? What's next? I like how he's jumping away so fast. Let's do okay. Let's do this, his next attack, which is gonna be so like a one-two punch type thing where he slows you down and then hits you with something. Um. So let's do. Kind of like, kind of like the, uh, um, does, what is it called? Pro freezing gas. Like the freezing gas, but a little bit different. Um, the synth spawns some freezing gas. So we're in mode zero. Uh, let's start there. Except I want it to be unique. So let's go. Why is it taking so long? 
Ooh, whoops. Trying to say, first I'm checking if there's any special logic for freezing gas. And there is. That's so when you create. Okay, so it's not going to do any of this special animation. Okay, so I want this to hit the player no matter what. And not unfreeze. Oh, no, wait, yeah, it does need to unfreeze. We'll get rid of that unfreeze. But this unfreeze needs to. All right, time with, yeah, okay. Let's try that. Just the fade in. <laughs> well, what the heck? Hurry up there, computer. You're just opening a freaking file. What the hell? It's called special fade. Yeah, that's just a, yeah, yeah. These children, and that's what's uh, that's what's not fading in.
All right, we need to see you debug the AI for this freeze. It's not um it's not fading out. Freeze. Timer two mode zero. Unfreeze. It's not really going. Okay, unfreeze worked that time. It's working fine all of a sudden. These particles is there a little too high up. Okay, but anyways, the point is, it slows you down and it hits you with something. Let's do let's do something like a, a boomerang.
So he's got uh, he's got this thing where he freezes you, and then he got like a lot of modes. I guess this will be mode thirty. It's a complicated AI here. If uh, oh, no more ifs. We need a little bit of a pause, a little bit more pause, I mean, before he throws. Let's freeze one, two, maybe like a whole, yeah, a second and a half or so. And then this Ren Boomerang, let's do, let's add a little something special to it. Maybe Collision Category Ice, so it freezes you if you get hit by it. Starting to be a 
much more interesting fight. Like, somehow I'm not getting hit by that. Hmm. Let's also, um, I'm gonna turn off the shield. Just to kind of make this a little simpler to understand whether it's hitting me or not. Foe Ice, that should have. This is Ren Boomerang. Oh! Shot Foe Ice on his, his attack opponent. armor either. Oh yeah, let's turn that off. In fact, let's turn off all these armors. Um, it'd probably be good to check these in as they are right now. Because I just created these files, the random random files, and uh, there will really be no tracking in Git until I, you know, the brand new file is just. Checked in. Okay, um, since he, this guy is kind of your, it's kind of like your mentor in a way. I mean, Zero really is your mentor, but Zero mentored Ren, and Ren is kind of tr putting you through this trial. Um, and Ren meditates when you first see him. Ren meditates later when you meet him after beating him. Um, I really want to have like a sort of like a meditation face off. So, because you don't actually kill Ren, you just. Um, you just damage him enough that he the, the trial is over. So for the end of <clears throat> fighting Ren, um, I'm gonna make it so you ooh, you do like this meditation face off. So as soon as Ren gets damaged enough, he'll go into a meditation stance forever and until you meditate as well. Which means that you, the game needs to guarantee that you have the meditation skill before you come here. So...
Let's, uh, let's, let's deal with that right now. Um, going back to, I think this is one. good. So Ren automatically opens up the wall behind him. So we'll make it so he only opens that up if uh, you have a meditate skill. If you don't have meditate, then he'll do some different dialogue, like something about how you need to get the meditate skill. Or you're incapable of some taking the, the trial, something like that. So first of all, not have the meditate ability. We need the new story element. This is gonna be Ren 2, actually, where this Ren has meditate. This one is has not meditate. This one is dialogue meet Ren 1. This one is dialogue meet Ren 2. Um, meet Ren 1. You know what, I got a better idea. This is actually just, Ren shouldn't even be there if you don't have Meditate. That dialogue wasn't making sense, really. Um, especially if you were to go trigger that dialogue twice within the same run. Like once he says, hey, what's up, welcome, blah, 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 you're not ready yet. And then he says, hey, what's up, welcome, and says all the same stuff again. That just wouldn't make sense. So just have him not even be there until you have the meditate ability. Besides, all his dialogue depends on zero and you're in encounter with him and getting the meditate skill and all that, so. So this time I don't have meditate. He just shouldn't even be there. Ugh. Cool.
Until you get meditate. So let's do that again. This time, start from the bottom. We'll have meditate. Cool, there he is. Blah 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 blah. The final test before this. Either a hypersoft pad, go sword, or Okay, cool. Now we've got, we've required that the player has meditate before getting into this battle. All right. Now, okay, let's make him go into, so Ren, um, Make him have twice the hit points. And as soon as his hit points get down, to below 50%, then he goes into his mode 50, which is like where he's meditating. So I'm fighting him, fighting him, fighting him, I'm gonna cheat to get him down to half health. Should be at half health. Oh, I guess this is gonna be below.
I just want him to sit there and meditate until you meditate. So we'll start with him just sitting there. What? Foes is not getting down to his health for some reason. Oh, because he's not a boss. Oh, he's a boss. Okay, so it's the input system thing. And that's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that was, uh, Her foes. Where is it? Dang, this is super inefficient. Unless it got automatically optimized. But the compiler, sometimes the compiler is smart enough to do that kind of stuff on its own. No way to know without checking the assembly code though. I'm not gonna do that. Pattern arena, if you're in the arena, you should do this whole hurting foes a lot thing. not be able to be hit once he's uh, meditating um, an easy way to do that is to just remove his collision category flow when he goes to meditate Thank <laughs> you. 
Is this weird? If I say category none, I should be able to walk over him. confusing. So the category is set, but he still can be hit. That's so, so crazy. What the heck does that mean? Well, I don't know. I can figure that out later. The real, the most important part is that I've been waiting for you, Medici. So, um, I think Metatron also can wait. Oh, Metatron. Metatron waits for you to have psychedelic. I think. No. What is that mode where he, Metatron goes into that mode where he's waiting just dropping tons of bombs on you. God, oh, hovering, here it is, hovering. If I thought Ren was a complicated AI, this guy is super complicated. Oh, it's unmasked collision, duh. Oh my God. Okay, so we need to unmask all the collision categories. Collision mask. Okay, I could do this with a story element. Like if you're medit if you're meditating, then it sets his mode to like fifty one or ninety nine or something or nine or something. He's got unsheathed shield, freeze. Oh yeah, it's fifty one is fine.
right, so let's control this with a story element. Is meditating. Let's see if that works. Can't meditate right now. So I'm battle meditate. Okay, we need to have a little special code that allows you to meditate. If he's meditating. Even if you don't have battle meditate. But for now, I'm just gonna add battle meditate. Okay, so cool. The mechanics of this boss fight now are kind of complete. Um, the, you know, there's so much refinement to do, especially to the artwork. Um, but mechanically, it's almost ready to try out and see how fun it is. Um, I'm going to give this a little bit of a break and just, um, you know, uh, just let my creativity kind of recharge up a bit. And then um, come back to this, see how fun it is, and then the next steps will be to work on the artwork. Just make the artwork really good. Alright, so that's it for this stream video. This video, not stream. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all of your support. And um, this update's going to be. Uh, finished soon, ready to go out, put it up on Steam, and this is actually going to be coming out on consoles too. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.